Hello, and welcome, welcome to a, re welcome to a railroad review of Trains Railroad Simulator 2009. Today I'll be reviewing four locos. This one I am reviewing. This one I'm reviewing right now is 60163 Tornado. Content. This one has been made from, by Wild Norwester, and it will be in the description in about five weeks. Yeah, really, it will. So the one thing, the, I like the detail. It looks like a real Peppercorn A1. 60163, all the drivers. But the one thing is, why is the whistle on the side? I don't know why, but I was wondering that. British Rail, this has, this is one of the very first new builds since, since 2000, since 1960. It was, re it was just, it was built in 2008. This model has, has been put on the internet. I will get, I will say where it is, I will say where it is in another video. All the con, all this looks very nice. Using the default Flying Scotsman, um, cab. A4 whistle, very nice engine. It is very a nice engine. It looks like like a real A1 Pacific. Is the Southern Railways, the Southern Railways E2 number 107. This one is based off Thomas the Tank Engine. You can tell. Southern Railway, Southern Railway acquired all ten of these by the end of when they were merged in 1923. So, since the E2s, since the E2s, since Thomas the Tank Engine was made at around this time, they're really, but, even though Thomas wasn't even invented by the time the E2s were in BR service, it was too late because when the E2s, E2, all E2s were withdrawn by 1960 and were scrapped. The one good thing about it is, it uses the, this is by Decipod, by the way, Decipod Dot. This is from UK Train Sin. It uses his default whistle and bell. And uses the default steam sounds. Cab is a it's a BR standard. It's a BR standard 2MT from UK Train Sin. Same place. It is, it is very nice. I kind of like it, because you know why? It's black. I'm not being, I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean, but it's just because I just like the paint. I'm not being mean, it's just, it looks like a real, it looks like a real freight engine. Cause they were, because I don't think any other freight engines were, I don't think any other freight engines were different colors. I kind of really like this one. Plus one, it has the fault, it has, this has my, this is a different whistle I got from another website. I forgot what it was. Oh, and this model is very nice. The Great Western Railway 14XX. I have numbered this as the first of its class, 1400. This is made, this was made on the DLS by Skipper1945. If you guys are content guys, if you want to use this, go on, to go on content manager and use it. Like I say, this one is very good. Because one, it's a great western. Plus one, it's Oliver. And I like Oliver. Also, every model on this route is very nice. Now for the test. A test of speed. All of these engines are coupled up together. Front, front tornado. And the back is, is the 14XX. So now we are ready for testing. Whoever is ready for testing, say I. I, 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 I. Okay, okay. Now, we are now ready. We now have to test out the speed. We will be testing it at full speed. We are at 24 miles an hour and we are going at 
at a good speed. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this, but um, we will do a separate engine video in another video. So, goodbye. Okay, so, this has been another Lori Lol production. Hope to see you in the next episode.